Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another example video on a beautiful channel on this beautiful day. Even though it's raining outside here and it's cold, we're going to be programming, so it's all good. No one said we're going to go out for a jog, right? So let's do this. So what we're going to do today? Well, we're going to keep working with classes, of course. Now, my idea here is that we're going to make a class called Dice, just like before. Alright, we'll make sure Dice can throw itself. Okay, and return an integer for the value that uh, was rolled. And then, what we'll do is, we'll have a semi-dynamic array of pointer pointers. And we'll fill it up. Or we'll let the user decide up to 10 how many he or she wants. And then, we'll throw. Alright? So, yeah, let's just go ahead and, and do that. Let's just go ahead and do that. So what we're going to need is an int capacity. Let's say you can have max 10 dice. And then int number of dice. Alright, from the beginning. Then we'll have a while loop for our menu system. Okay. Um, then we'll have an int choice. Alright. Choice larger than 0. As soon as it's 0, we will quit. So what do we want to do then? Well, we want to, whoops, um, dice, delete, whatever array we have here. So we're going to have a dice array. So what we need is a dice class. Dice, all right, private, public. And our dice is, of course, going to have an integer max value. Okay, and then we're going to give it a constructor, and we're going to say that in the constructor equals 6. So you can have a or 4, I think, is the least smallest die you can have, I think. Well, let's say that. Anyhow, uh, excuse me. Whoops, sometimes I'm bad. All right, dice. Just like that. And then we'll have a int or toss. Toss. Um, and then we'll just do it once in this one. Toss. Return rand max this max value. Just because this x equals max value. So there we go. That's our dice class finished. That is it finished. Now all we have to do, we have to fix the random. So include C time. All right, and we're gonna just go ahead and S rand time static cast um, uh, unsigned zero. So there we go. Now I used to write null in here, but this is a better way to do it. I heard it's more efficient at least. So uh, go ahead and do this instead. Plus it looks more pro. So just do that. And uh, let's see. That's it finished. Well, let's do a dice um, dice array. Let's make it a pointer pointer just to practice some more on pointer pointer so we don't forget, right? So new dice pointer. Uh, let's see. Dice pointer cap. So we have max 10. We can have max 10 of these. And we'll make sure that we can't add any more as uh, the number of dice increases to 10. That we can't add any more. So there we go. Delete. Position I. And then remember to delete the whole thing. Dice array. If you don't remember how to do pointer pointer arrays. Oh, they changed this to blue. Interesting. Uh, if you don't remember how to do pointer pointer arrays, go ahead and watch my like example forty something somewhere around there. There's some pointer pointer uh, examples there, and I go through them very in very great detail, so uh, you won't have a problem. Um, but anyhow, let's say this is the delete final. All right, this is the final delete thing, and okay. So let's just go ahead and make our menu here. All right, so uh, void menu. 
menu. I'll do it in a function here and we'll just take in the choice as a reference here. Okay, so switch choice just like that and case one case two break. So what are we gonna have? Well we're gonna have print out all the die toss the dies and give us the total values and toss the dice and we'll see we'll see what else we can do here but we'll just start with those two the important thing here is that uh, that uh, we make sure that we have the class and we can use it in a pointer pointer array so we learn about that. that's the important thing here um, raw input bra and that line and then we have the number one to print all the die and what we're gonna have to do here is we're gonna have to send in the dice array so we're gonna have to send in dice pointer pointer dice array okay so we have that there and we're gonna have a constant on that I think just to make sure we don't change it and then we're going to oh yeah we need to add as well and we need to do that so integer constant cap constant uh, we're not gonna expand but uh, this can't be const because we're gonna increase int number of dice we're gonna increase number of dice through here so we can't do that now okay now the reason I didn't create a dynamic array yet with a class is because I'm waiting for that it's a little different so I'm just gonna do a little more of these class examples and then we're gonna go ahead and and do those full fully fledged template class uh, dynamic arrays but for now we'll just stick to this number of dice okay just like that I and we don't want the uh, excuse me oh because it's constant excuse me excuse me oh well, I am so dumb I am so dumb never mind that never mind that okay never mind that what we need is an int get max value and we'll just make that constant and we can make this constant as well constant and we will say get max value int const int reference return this is just again to make it as optimized as possible um, max value because we're returning our member variable we can do it as a reference and put constant on it so we don't actually change it and a constant here because we're not going to change it so this is like the most efficient way probably to to write this and uh, and get max value there we go then you don't have to do this spam uh, okay okay so you get the max value and the uh, actual index of where it's at and then max value that's what we want here so get max value for all dice and then we have two toss all dice and get the total so we're going to toss them all and we're going to get a total value from them now to do this we're going to have to make an int total value okay and we're going to have to say that total value in a for loop of course in a for loop dice um, dice array here total dice array at position I toss okay so that's just going to whoops uh, what was my name total val so total val bam 
is going to get the result, fill that out, and then we're going to say total value of all dice. And then we're going to say total val. Just like that. Now I said I was going to start using slash n in a previous video because it's a little more efficient but I'm still using end line somewhere here and there. So excuse me about that, but change your habit if you can. It's a little too late for me, guys. <laughs> oh, God. No, but you can, you can do that. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. It's not that. I guess it's not that much more efficient anyway. But it's, uh, yeah, it's a little more pro. So we got that down. We got that down. Zero is quit. So as soon as we do zero, it's going to exit. Now, what we need to do is we need to Actually, this could be 2, this could be 3, and then we'll have case 1, which is add dice. Okay, just like that. And we'll say that dice array at position of dice plus plus, whoops, new dice. And we'll get a number for that in there, and, but we need an if statement, if... Uh, number of dice equal less than cap. Okay, if it's less than cap, we'll do it. If it's equal to cap, you cannot. You cannot. That is not good. Okay, because then it's going to be equal to, and that will be the final one. So we have this uh, if statement here. Whoops. And we have this. So now all we need is an input from the user. See out. Add a dice okay in put max value for dice and then see in int max val zero val there we go and then we'll say max val in there and now every time menu runs it will create these two which is kind of meh I mean, but it has to be done, so um, there we go, there we go, okay, 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 I think this should be fine, and then in the while thingy, we'll start with, we have to actually do this, choice, of course, Choice. Okay. Menu, and then we'll say we align that. And then we'll say we'll just copy this. One equals uh, add dice. Two show dice. Three, toss all dice, and then choice. Okay, let's do one more slash n for good measure, and then we have our choice thingy. Now we're gonna have to do menu first once up here, menu, or main menu, and then choice, dice, array, cap number of okay there we go that's our menu function and we'll just do that in there now this is going to crash so hard on me but I don't know why uh, we got some issues here okay we got some constant thingy problem so we're just gonna do that because a constant pointer is an, another thing I think that was the only problem yeah okay so let's just see show dice it does not crash Toss all die does not crash. Add a die. Let's add it to uh, a 12. And then show die. 12. Yes. Toss die. Yes. We're getting different values. Yes. Yes. Add a die. Uh, we'll do a 20. And then we'll show it. 12, 20. Toss all die. Oh, we're getting some big numbers here, guys. Oh, we're going to win. Oh, whoa. Hell yes. So that worked. Now, that quit as well, and we won't get a, a, excuse me, give me one second here. We should not get any memory leaks. 
we should not get it. These are some old examples that I made. Some template stuff. Let me find a that thingy. Where is main? Where is my main? Where is my main function? Okay. I have been really bad guys and girls uh, because I haven't used that debug assertion thingy. The one that shows memory leaks. And I'm trying to find it where I used it last. But I don't think I'm going to find it. Sadly. I do not think I'm going to find it. Main. I don't think I used it in a while. Oh, it should be. No. Just a second here. There should be one. Right here. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Well, that was it then. Uh, use that thing if you find it somewhere. And uh, it should be fine. But it shouldn't be any memory leaks here since we deleted everything. Right here. So that's it. That's a simple dice thrower program with a limited pointer pointer array and a class and a function so that's a good big meaty example for you enjoy take care thanks for watching i hope you learned something sorry about the ramble here at the end trying to find that thing which i didn't find but whatever i'll use it in the next video but thanks again take care i'll see you in the next one Bye bye